What's up guys, today I'm gonna to talk about building a program. If you take over a program, how do you build it? Is it something that was good before you got there or something that wasn't good before you got there and now you have to grow it from the ground up? How do you do that? What are the steps to do that? We're gonna talk about that right now. So I like to start when building a program, you think about, in my head, I think about three different phases, okay? Phase one. Phase one is the trust fall. The trust fall phase, okay? You all know what a trust fall is. You know, you stand there and you fall backwards in hopes that the people behind you will catch you. In the trust fall phase, we're talking about three situations that can happen out of a trust fall phase. Number one, they don't catch you. That's not a good thing, right? Okay. Number two, they catch you, but they catch you out of obligation or maybe a fear of, of your retaliation of what would happen if they don't catch you. Okay. And number three, the best option is they catch you because they're genuinely concerned about your well-being. That's where you want to be. So basically what that means is they catch you because they like you. So in the trust fall phase, we want to get to a point where the kids trust you and like you. That's it. That's phase one. Okay. Phase one. And that should take one to two years. Okay. One to two years to get this done. If you don't have that done by the end of the second season where the kids actually like you and are having fun and they trust you, you need to rethink how you're doing your, your plan. Okay. So the trust fall phase is number one. So the second phase is what I call the squeeze. Again, this should take, uh, I want to say, two to three years, okay? The squeeze, okay? And what I mean by that is if you're past phase one where you have the kids like you and they trust you and they're having fun, okay? You're getting more kids involved in the program, more kids trying out for you. Now the popularity and the reputation is getting better. That's phase one. Now we can move on to the squeeze, okay? The squeeze phase should last two to three years, Obviously, the sooner you can get this done, the better. But it's where we start raising the bar, okay? Where we start squeezing potential and productivity out of these kids. We start raising the bar. We start our expectations get higher. We start racking up better offenses, better defense. We start racking up better wins. Um, you know, and we start, that's when all of a sudden the wins start to rack up and the program starts to grow, okay? Uh, because they like you, they trust you, they know you. They want to work hard for you. And now all of a sudden, then you can start raising the bar. Okay. Only then can you start raising the bar. You cannot come in and immediately start a brand new program and immediately have these high expectations that, you know, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that right away. Mm -mm. Okay. We're talking about teenage kids that you need to win over. Okay. That is super important because these kids are here because they enjoy the sport. It is not a job. It is not work. You do not want to... Have them show up to practice thinking, oh, it's it's like work. They're going to be doing that the rest of their lives, okay? They're here because they want to have fun, okay? But not only have fun, but then work hard with it too. You want to show them that work, hard work can turn into something, you know, when you start gradually raising the bar. You cannot come in right away and just say, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set the bar really high. you got to have realistic expectations, okay? So you got to set the groundwork first. You got to make it fun for them and then you can start raising the bar so that's i call it the squeeze we start squeezing potential and productivity out of them and that should last two to three years in this two to three year span is where you start seeing uh the the wins get higher the popularity grow more fans showing up to the game more kids trying out for your team maybe even kids transferring to to your school because they see wow they got something going over here they their their productivity is high their coach has expectations and now all of a sudden we get the ball rolling and that should take two to three years within this time before we move on to the third and final phase and then of course the final phase is your championship Okay, your championship push should be your final phase. And we're talking, if you get it done right, maybe in your third or fourth year, third, fourth, fifth year, if it's done right. Now, granted, it's, this is not a blueprint. I'm not saying that this is going to happen, you know, every single time. 
Um, I'm just saying that if you follow and you do everything the way that you want to do this and you do it right with these kids, that by the fourth or fifth year, at the earliest, I would say, at the earliest, the fourth or fifth year, you're pushing for region championships, conference championships, state tournament championships. So and that's at the fourth, um, your fourth or fifth year. That's what we're talking about, okay? At that point in time, now you've got a, a top caliber um, program kids want to be a part of, maybe talent is transferring into your program, you're having more kids try out, so therefore you're getting more kids to, to pick from at tryouts, um, you're growing your program, you're having them play year round in the off season too as well, you're keeping them together, that's probably important too as well, I know that's what we're doing here at our program is we're trying our, our very best to keep our kids together and playing together in the off season. I mean, how many times have you seen a team play where you're, you just watch them play and you're like, wow, that team looks like they've been playing together for a long time. That's ultimately the goal for my teams to get them to play together, even in the off season. Um, so that's what we're looking to do. We get them to play together so that by the time the season comes, we already have plenty of time together already. So this championship time, is right around the fourth or fifth year. That's why it's kind of hard to, you know, coach comes in to take over a program. They should at least have this much time to build a program. If by the fourth or fifth year, they don't haven't gotten anything off the ground, if they're pretty much the same as where they started off at, they need to re reassess either what they're doing with the program or maybe find somewhere else to coach or something like that. Because around the fourth or fifth year, if the program is still the same as where it was when they took over, they're probably not doing anything more with it. I mean, it's not all of a sudden going to take off and, and rise up out of nowhere out of, after four or five years. So that's my kind of general synopsis on, on the blueprint, I think, in my opinion, on how I would like to, and I have built a, build a program, how you should want to build a program under talking from a, a student player standpoint. You want to make it fun. Okay, you want to trust the coach, you want to enjoy yourself, you want to be a part of something. You know, building building a program is. I always say that a, a, a good program, by definition, is something that people want to be a part of. Plain and simple, whether it be you know the art club at school or a church. Like if people want to be a part of it, it's a good thing. So um, you want your team to be something like that, where people want to be a part of it. And so the more people that want to be a part of it, the better odds that you are going to have of, of success so you got to have people in the gym you got to have people that like you that that are going to have fun they're going to trust you and then on top of that once they trust you then you can start raising the bar and squeezing potential out of them and then once you're getting to that point now we're talking more wins tournament wins and you push into the championship section where you start you know looking for region titles and state championships things like that so um, I hope I hope this is an, uh, an easy breakdown for you guys. I know it's not necessarily cookie cutter for everybody. Everybody's different, um, you know, based on on where you are, you know, in your in your state or in your city. Everybody's different, um, but at least that's how I see the breakdown on how to build a culture and how to build a a program from the ground up. So I hope this works for you guys. Good luck to you, coach.